Keeping a digital book library can boost your reading experience as well as keep track of everything you've read or want to read. In this video, we wanted to give a template tour and tutorial of our newly revamped premium book library Notion template as well as our AI and standard versions. We'll share a brief overview, how to use it, and more. If you find this useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Let's first start with a brief overview of the template and how to navigate it. So when you first open it up, you'll notice that you have your reading dashboard where you can see the books that you're reading now, as well as see what books you want to read and want to read again in this dashboard. Then we have reading lists where you can store reading challenges and book lists, book club lists, and so on. And then we have our browse by genre section where you can see all of your books based on genre. Then underneath here, we have the reading journal as well as a gallery of quotes and another view for all books that you can see by rating, finished, and view all. And if we go to the top, you'll also notice that on the left-hand sidebar, we have quick links here so that you can easily go from page to page as well as a section for browsing by authors. And underneath here, we have our databases that are stored neatly inside, and we recommend you not to touch this or delete this, or this template is going to stop working. So let's start by adding a book. So if you're already starting to read the book, you could simply click plus new inside of the reading dashboard for reading now. And if we click this open plus new, we'll already be loading up a new book page. So let's add one of our favorite books here called Atomic Habits. And let's say that we're going to add a cover photo. And the way we recommend you to add covers for books is to simply go online and find a book cover and click controller command, click it and save the address to the image and then add the link here. So we're just going to go to Goodreads and then paste in the image link. So now if we click submit, it's going to load the book cover here. And then we can add our start and finish dates. So here we can add what day we're going to start it. So let's say that we're going to start it today and we can fill this in when we're finished. Then we also have genre. So we already have pre-included genres here, but just for the sake of this example, we're just going to go ahead and add a new genre so that you can see how this works. So let's say that this is going to be added to productivity and we can do plus new productivity like this and simply select it. So now we have a new database entry called productivity that is a new genre. So we'll worry about this later, but we're going to add that here. Then for the author, you have to do the same. So this is by James Clear. And again, you can do plus new James Clear in the author gallery and then click it again. And then we have him loaded like this. And you can even already add these information here. For example, we already know that the country he's from is the US. So we can just fill this one in and then birth and death we can fill in later. And when you finish reading the book, you can add a rating like this and what format you're going to read it in. Let's say that this is a Kindle ebook and then we can fill in the book length. We're not entirely sure the exact book length, so we're just going to be putting 300 just for now. And to show you how the progress works, we'll add this, for example, one page as a bookmark and it doesn't really change the percentage because it's so small number, but let's say if we put 10, you'd see that it's 3%. So then we're going to also track where you got this book from. So you can also add your own options here. So let's say that we just bought it from a website. We can just put website. And here we have our reading goals, which are all of our reading challenges. And we won't fill this in for now. And you can also see your quotes like this as well. And then your notes. And once you have that, you'll notice that the page has also been filled in for you like this. So you can actually start filling this in as well while you're reading. So let's go ahead and return home. So now we see Atomic Habits in reading. Now, if you want to change the status, you can also easily do that by changing it here so you can change it. So now that we've already filled in one book, let's go ahead and check our reading lists. So reading lists are unique because you can actually add books to it. 
So let's say that we're going to add a book list and these are basically just different because of its category. So reading goals, book lists, and book club lists are basically built the same. But let's say that we want to add a book list. We're going to click plus new here and we're going to call this productivity books. And we can enter a start date. So you want to start this book list today, for example. And then you can start adding your goal books. So for example, Atomic Habits is one of the books inside our productivity books. And you can also track your progress as well as write your own goal summary and include a link to the list if it's somewhere outside and whether or not you've completed it as well as the notes and see all of your books inside of this book list. So let's say that we're actually done reading Atomic Habits. If we click here and we change this to finished, you'll notice that the book list has now shown a progress of 100%. So now let's say that we wanted to add another book to this list, for example, like this, then it's going to be 50%. It's automatically calculating your progress based on whether or not you finish the books inside of your goal books. Next, let's talk about the genres. So you can also add books through the genre. So we just created this productivity genre through the book. And if we open it up, we can kind of also add a icon here as well. So if this is productivity and maybe we can put an atom for atomic habit. So now we can add a cover and change cover and Unsplash is one of the best places to get stock cover photos. So let's say we're looking for something for productivity and we'll just choose a photo from here. And then you can see that you can even add books through the genre. And actually, if we go out and we click add book like this, you can also automatically add a new productivity book just as an example. And it's already tagged by the correct genre and it will load everything as well. So now you see that the productivity genre has two books here. And additionally, if you want to add a new genre, you can also simply click plus new here to add one. So it's very simple to add. The next thing we wanted to show you is our reading journal. So if we click this day, for example, and this is designed so that you can keep a daily reading journal. So let's say that this is daily reading journal and you can track what books you read today. So let's say we read Atomic Habits and also the new productivity book and the minutes read, you could put 60 pages read, however many pages you read. And then you can list out your reflection for the day. So this is just designed to keep track of a reading journal every day. And whenever you read something interesting, you could just reflect about it. So the next thing we wanted to show is the quotes. And for this, you can simply click plus new inside here and create a new quote. So let's say that we had a really interesting quote in Atomic Habits. So you would type the quote inside of the title like this and you can put quotation marks and every action you take is a vote for the person you want to become. The book is Atomic Habits and author is automatically added here. You can put the page number. We're not entirely sure where this one came from, so we'll just put a random page number. And we also have category. So this is very motivational. So we're going to add it as a motivational quote. And then you can also add some notes. So if we click out, now we see this quote here and it's displayed very nicely. Finally, here you can see all of your books in gallery view. So you can see want to read, reading, want to read again and no status. And you can also see by rating. So if you rated something five stars, you'll see it at the top. You can also see all the books that you finished as well as just view all in a table view like this. So you can really see everything in one glance. We wanted to also mention about the authors. So basically here you can simply click James Clear and see what books James Clear has written as well as a place where you can add and embed various information that you might find about the author. The other thing we wanted to mention is the quick links. So here if we go to reading journal, you can get a very simplified view of your reading journal in a calendar. And you can also see it by month. And this calendar can also be connected to your Notion calendar by clicking open in calendar. 
And if you want to go to the next page, you can simply just click author gallery. So now we have our author gallery here and you can also see it by country and you can also browse by author like this. Then the next thing we have is our favorite quotes. And here you can also see all quotes and by category. And then we have browse by genre here. So if you just simply want to see your genre page, you can do so here. And then also we have all books. So if we return home, you can see that you can either choose to operate everything from one page or if you prefer these simplified views of each page, you can also use the quick links. And finally, to conclude this tour, we just wanted to show you how everything is interconnected once you open up a book. So everything we've just added now into the various databases can be seen here. So for example, in the reading journal, you can see there's a reading journal entry and you can see the books that you read based on that book. You can also see all of the quotes here and you can see your reflection and summary. And you can also add quotes through here based on the book. You can also add journal entries only for this book if you want to do that as well. So there's a lot of options here in terms of how you want to enter the information and you can simply click return home to get back to the home page. The next thing we wanted to show you is our book library reading journal premium plus AI. So this is for people who already have Notion AI or you can also sign up for Notion AI. The link is in our description and there's a lot of AI features in this that we've built in. So we can just take a look at some of these. So the first thing is if we open up a book, you'll now notice that there is an AI summary here. So depending on what you add to your summary here, it's going to show up inside of the AI summary. So here we basically took a summary online. And if we go back up here and we click the update button, it's going to update it. So now we have a simple summary that you can see just based off of this top part of this book. And the other things we've included is these reflections. So if you click generate, it's going to generate five reflection questions after you've read the book. And we also have reading comprehension questions, which you can also generate. And as you can see, these question prompts are relating to what information is already available on the page. So it could be a really good way for you to study about the book. So if we go back home now, we'll show you the next place that you can find this AI implemented. And that is through our reading journal. So if we click open reading journal, you'll now notice some AI prompts that have been added. So five journal prompts suitable for a daily reading journal. If you click generate, it's going to give you five questions that you can answer during your daily reading journal. Then the other place we've included this is also in the quotes. So if we click open a quote, you can see five journal prompts that would help reflect on a book quote, and we can also generate that. And these get automatically generated each time you create a new quote, a new journal, and so on. So this is all automatic. And if we also go to the sidebar here, we also have a reading suggestion database. And how you can do this is simply click get a suggestion. And what you can do is to ask it some features that you would want in a book that you're looking for. So let's type what you're looking for in the space below. So a short book about adventure and maybe you want also some fantasy elements. So now we can click here and update. And it has recommended us The Hobbit, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and The Alchemist. And let's say that you've already read The Hobbit, already read The Hobbit, recommend others. And then we can also click update again. And now it's recommending Chronicles of Narnia, Harry Potter and Percy Jackson and the Olympians. So in this way, maybe this is not the perfect way to get recommendations, but it could give you some ideas on what you could read next potentially. So this is something that we've also added. 
And finally, if you just prefer a simple approach to keeping your book library, we also have this simplified version here. And here you can simply add your reading goals with resources. And then we basically have two databases, which are your books. And you can see your books like this, as well as your genre and see everything here. So this is certainly a simplified version, but we still included a lot of features. So you can see here that there is quite a lot you can still add and a lot of reflection prompts as well. So definitely check that out as well if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in this template, be sure to check out the link in the description. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to let us know and we hope to see you in the next one.